the Milano Caster Light. My goal with this video is to set this thing up with dual streaming for Twitch in mind. Twitch, Discord chat, game chat, all of that without needing any kind of software to back it up. I'm gonna go over all the ports in the back and what they do, all the knobs in the front and how they interact with the PC, tell you step by step how to get it working because it does work. I've been messing with this thing all weekend. Today is Monday night when I'm recording this. So from Friday on through today, I've been messing with settings and jimmying around with it, testing different things. And I think I finally got it figured out. As a matter of fact, I do have it figured out. So we'll start. Obviously this is the mic. Mic, mic in comes with an XLR into a 3.5 jack and it's a really bad mic but it works I tried using a USB mic with a monitor 3.5 jack on it and it didn't work very well I'd lose the mic all the time but with the XLR mic plugged in I haven't had any problems with just the mic just disappearing you got a second spot for another mic. This is a headset jack for monitoring and you hear your desktop through it as well. You hear your Discord chat, game volume, game chat. It'll all come through here. The music input, I don't think you'll ever use it if you're gonna use this for Twitch streaming. This output, is what you will hook up to your streaming PC. I have a 3.5, just a regular stereo 3.5 jack, but I also had to use one of these uh, ground loop isolator because it was very staticky without it. But once I put that on, all the static went away. Um, those are like $10 on Amazon, real cheap. I've tried using these output pod outputs um, and there's just a really bad whine in them. Uh, even the ground loop isolator couldn't take it out. So I think these are meant to go into another electronic device like a phone or a cell, a cell phone or a tablet or, or something like that that can control the volume a little better. This is the USB port. USB Type-C. This is a data port, so it sends and receives uh, instead of just charging, like, because uh, this you can use this wirelessly too, but this does work as the input and output to your gaming PC. Um, so I have this plugged into my gaming PC, and I have the sound settings for default on the gaming PC, it's default to this for recording and playback. And Discord, if you're wanting Discord chat, Discord chat in your video and audio settings is also set to default. One thing you will know, you need to know, is that this record knob right here controls the volume of your mic going into your gaming PC. So if this is all the way down, your mic will not transmit into the gaming PC. You'll still be able to hear it in your headset, but it won't come through the gaming PC. This controls the volume coming out of the gaming PC, and it's very loud. Um, if you turn it all the way down, of course you won't hear nothing, but even just a little bit and it'll blow out OBS on your streaming PC so you'll have to adjust this really low and then you'll probably also have to go in your game and adjust the game volume so it won't be so loud 
over your voice in OBS. So, to recap, USB Type-C into the gaming PC, set to default, uh, playback and recording, it shows up as the Milano something or other, AO2 or something like that. Uh, default recording, default playback device. <coughs> your mic into your mic, your headset in here so you can hear, and you got in the output, the only one that says output goes into your streaming PC. Um, of course, you got OBS or slobs, whichever one you want to use, you got it open. First thing you want to do in that is put an audio input capture device. You want to get your mic going. And before you put any other audio like Discord or game volume into it, you want to get your mic adjusted with filters. Definitely want a noise suppression. You'll want a limiter and a compressor if you get real loud, which is kind of hard to do with this shit mic that it comes with. And then you start adding your game. You adjust your game volume. And then your Discord. You adjust your Discord settings. <coughs> you do a little test stream, test record uh, on your OBS settings. And uh, play it back. And if one thing's too loud or the other, you know, it just takes a little bit of adjusting to get your, your sound just right. But it does work and it does sound good. All the functions work as well. All the little noises that it makes, the voice changer, the, the electron, whatever that is, that's auto tune or whatever it is. Um, all of that works. It all works. It works through game. It works through Discord, um, and it all sounds fine. It all works great. Uh, this is about the fifth time I've tried to record this video, <laughs> but yeah, man. So far, so good. Do you see something? This is plugged in to the PS5 right now. Shit, I just slam my keyboard and I just accidentally closed that out. I'm trying to get it to where you can see it. But the PS5 is registering. You can see up there. It's registering as a USB and registering it as a microphone. And I'm in a party. I'm in a party by myself, but with a friend of mine. And as you can see, I talk into the mic. It's picking my mic up. It's also picking up the sound effects that it, that it comes with. Sending them all through the PS5 as well. And so if you stream from a console, straight from a console, this should work out pretty well. Uh, as far as being able to do weird shit, you know, uh, make the the voice changes and the <coughs> sound effects and everything. Uh, if you're streaming straight from a console, um, I'm gonna see if uh, this gets picked up by my Razer uh, capture card that I stream from my PS5 with. See if it picks it up. Uh, through the HDMI, we'll see, uh, get some more of that going, get some more testing through the PS5, see what happens, if, it, if it'll stream through the PS5 to the OBS, I'm sure it's going to end up being the same thing, after more testing with the PS5, um, the only thing that, uh, needed to be changed from how it's set up with the computer is, of course, the USB needs to go into the back of the PS5. And uh, if you're going to stream your PS5 from a computer, then, you know, 
this will go into the same audio port that it was going into with the dual streaming setup. Um, only difference is in OBS, you will pull the video for from the PS5 off the capture card and the audio will come from mic in just like it was set up on the gaming PC. That would be the only difference um, is where you pull your video and audio from uh, on OBS. But it works just the same. Um, if you want a Discord chat to go with it, you would have to have a PC that has a line out. I don't have that on uh, for my streaming system, my streaming laptop over here. It's just got the one audio in or the one audio jack, so I don't have I don't have a second one to hook up to test if I could get Discord chat to run through this as well. Which I don't think it it wouldn't work. It should work. I would think everything else has worked but I would need a whole new streaming PC to test or try to get my PC my PS5 and my gaming PC closer together and I'm not going to rearrange my entire room to test for one cord if it makes a difference but I would imagine all you need is a line out jack on your streaming PC to go into this thing probably in your second mic port or maybe even that music in port uh, for discord to come into and then everything would go back out your output and it should work that way too I would think I don't know about discord here and all your little sound effects and voice change effects I don't know if uh, if discord would hear all that set up that way but uh, if you know let me know so I think that's going to wrap it up I know I didn't get on the computer and show you how to set up your uh, default uh, how to set this up as a default playback and recording device but I just assume that if you're messing with this uh, type of soundboard sound card thing that you know a little bit about computers if you don't I can talk you through it well, I think that's going to wrap up this uh, setup guide on the Moano caster light is definitely worth the $99 I think especially with all the fun things you could do I had a great time with it Friday streaming with my uh, group if you have any questions leave them down in the comments and yeah uh, like the video subscribe if you want dislike if you dislike all that good stuff have a good one